In the previous lectures, we learned about addition of integers on a number line. Now, what we are going to learn in this video lecture is addition of integers without using a number line. So let's begin with, and this is the first condition that you have, you are adding two positive integers and let's take some example. Let's say it is uh, plus five plus plus three. Now always remember it can also be written as 5 plus 3 only. If there is no uh, plus sign given then that means that it's actually a positive number. So this actually it's not necessary to give the positive sign but if it is given then it's okay. If it's not given then always consider them as positive numbers. This 5 tells you plus 5, this 3 tells you plus 3 and this is actually the addition that you have to perform. Now, in such cases, straight add, now as you have done addition in the previous, you know, like you add two, num two numbers, any two numbers, so simply add them, 5 plus 3 will be 8. So the answer will be plus 8 or 8, if, you, if even you write only 8, then that's also completely fine, because you need not to write plus sign. Let's take one more example, let's say it is 7 plus 4, so it also means that it is plus 7 plus plus 4 and it will be 11 or plus 11 whatever these both these two things are same, same things involving two negative integers now let's say that it is minus 5 one negative integer plus you have to perform the addition let me take with some different color to have a better understanding let's say this is plus that is the addition you are performing and the next number is minus 3. In such cases, whenever you have to perform addition on two negative integers, what you have to do is forget for a moment the negative sign associated with that number. Just forget them. So the first step would be simply add those two numbers. That is here you have 5 and then you have 3. So this will be 5 plus 3 will give you 8 and put a minus sign in front of 8. So the answer will be minus 8. So if you are adding two negative integers for a moment forget about their negative sign simply add two numbers write that number and put a minus sign before it. You want to see one more example let's say it is minus 11 plus minus 5 11 plus 5 will be 16 and just put minus sign before it. Involving one positive and one negative integers. And let me explain you with two examples simultaneously. You have minus 5 plus plus 3 since it is saying that you have one positive and one negative. So this is positive, this is negative and the second one is plus 5 plus minus 3. We have just interchanged the position of plus and minus sign. Here in this case minus was with 5 but in this case minus is with 3. In, in such cases where you have to add one positive and one negative integer what you have to do is first you have to do is first subtract the smaller number from the larger number. In this case, 3 is, a, is the smaller number, 5 is the larger number. Just forget for a moment a minus sign. Just forget it. So this is the smaller number that is 3, 5 is the larger number. So do 5 minus 3. This will give you 2. Now look at those, these two numbers and see which number has negative sign associated with it. In this case, minus is associated with 5. 5 is the larger number. Therefore, you will put minus here. In this case, in this case, you have 5 and plus minus 3. Again, the first step is forget minus sign in this case and simply subtract. So 5 minus 3. 3 is the smaller number, 5 is the larger number. Subtract it, you will get 2. Now look at these two numbers and and, and see which number has 
negative sign associated with it. In this case, negative sign that is minus sign is with 3. Since 3 is smaller than 5, therefore we will not put minus sign here. We will not put minus sign here. If we put minus sign, this will be wrong. So the rule is, if you are adding one positive and one negative integers, first subtract a smaller number from the larger number and then look for which number can, has minus sign associated with it and if that number is larger, like in this case 5 was larger than 3 and 5 has minus sign associated with it, therefore you will put minus sign here. But in this case, minus is associated with 3 and 3 is smaller than 5, therefore we will not put 2 here. Let me take one more example. Let's say you have minus 7 plus plus 11. So simply subtract 11 minus 7, you'll get 4. Since minus is with 7, but 7 is smaller than 11, therefore no need to put minus sign here and you'll, you will get this as the answer. So these were the three cases which summarize addition of two positive integers, two negative integers, one positive and one negative integer.